Erosion, erosion pollution, decline of biodiversity, urbanization. European soils are facing multiple threats. These scientists in northern Italy are digging deep to better understand those menaces so they can propose better preventative solutions. It is a sunny sampling campaign day for these experts in soils. Soil scientists, soil biologists and agricultural engineers. They are all engaged in a comprehensive research effort to understand what's happening under our feet. And together with other colleagues around Europe, they are not short of work. We end up with a collection of 25,000 samples from all over Europe that are analysed to study their physical, chemical and biological properties. And how do you choose these sampling sites? We try to select the sites to give a homogeneous representation of all European countries. They're also selected according to their land cover, the soil use, climatic conditions and the different type of soil they have. This site is a freshly harvested cornfield, and researchers say it bears scars from one of the main enemies of soils, erosion. Rain, inappropriate agricultural practices and topography combine each year to remove around 2.4 tonnes per hectare from the surface of fertile soil across Europe. Understanding the situation helps researchers to propose prevention techniques against soil erosion. We're able to advise the farmers on what practical ways they can follow to stop erosion. We can summarize them, try to reduce tillage, after the harvest leave the plant residues on the field. And lastly, we can also advise farmers to protect grass margins. It's better to leave grass in the borders of their fields. These scientists from the Joint Research Centre aim at accurately understanding what is happening under our feet, so the European Union can better determine policies for a good and sustainable management of its soils. And much, researchers say, is at stake. Most people think about soil as the source of food, uh, because, for example, 99.9% .9 of the calories that we eat come from land-based agriculture. Uh, however, uh, soils also perform uh, other functions such as cleaning water, uh, they mitigate the uh, effects of flooding, uh, they combat the climate change by sequestering carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and locking it in the ground. Uh, they also buffer us from the effects of pollution. To achieve those goals, soils have to be in good health. A good indicator is the biodiversity that they host. So, researchers also take samples under forests, for instance, for further biological analysis. We estimate that in a hectare of soil there are around 5,000 kilos of living organisms. That corresponds more or less to the weight of some 100 sheep. Classical biological analyses are to be combined with sophisticated DNA studies to more accurately determine different types of soil's biological communities. Reading DNA sequences extracted from soil, we can understand to what living organisms that soil is linked, and we can accurately identify what those organisms are. This way we can characterize biodiversity. Atlases, interactive databases, models, recommendations for policymakers and public awareness campaigns are the final results of a research effort bound to keep digging deep into our soil's secrets.